Hi everyone, so I'm going to show you today the demo of the last experiment um, that is the lesson 11 and I'm doing the part of the experiment that deals with the simulation of the transmission of an infectious disease. So our objective uh, objectives of the experiments are uh, the simulation and to see how the disease is transmitted in a community and then we are going to find the index case that means who started the transmission or what is the source of the disease so our third objective will be to record or to find how many people got infected with contagious disease by the end of the luncheon so we are going to do that and uh, for that i have designed the experiment so here is the design of the experiment i did so even if you are alone you can do that so these are the eight cups and uh, i have taken these eight cups as eight persons okay and uh, i have given them names like one two three four five six seven eight you can give different names a b c d e f g so whichever is easier for you now one of the persons will be infected so that person we don't know for that you can take the help of one person who will actually mess up with the arrangement and rearrange everything and then we can start the experiment so uh, you can make a design before you start so this is the person with the name six so sixth person will do the exchange of beverages with three persons one after another this sixth person will pour the whole cup of his or her beverage into the number one's cup and then number one will give back half of his or her cup to six and this is how the six will do the exchange of the beverage with number two and then the six will do the exchange with number three so all of these numbers as I have given six, two, five, three, they will do. Now you can have a question why three has number two over here? Because as each person can do three times exchange as according to the uh, rule of the lab. So three has done already one exchange with number six. So three has to do two more exchange. So looking at all these exchanges, we can see that three can do with eight and three can do with four. So there will be no repetition. And then one has done the exchange with number seven already. So we have uh, seen already there is exchange of one with number six. So one can do one more time exchange with number seven. And then there is no more number left over here to be filled up because they are all done. They have all done their exchanges three times. So this blue line indicates that there is a repetition of number two one more time. And in that way, one will be satisfied that one has three times exchange. One is over here one is over here but with two it is a repetition of two because two is doing four times we are doing this we have randomly chosen because to satisfy number one now seven if we calculate if we look over here we can see that seven has two times exchange with the red lines so you can see seven exchange a seven, a seven's exchange with five over here and over one so there are two exchanges so one exchange is left so we have randomly chosen three to do the exchange though three has already three three exchanges because three has done exchange with six one time and with eight and one four so already three exchanges are done that's why we have taken one more three so that seven is satisfied with three exchanges so this is the design i made you can do 
as you want with different numbers you can play and do the design but always maintain that you are looking at them and see that they are doing three time exchange and not more than three and only excess when it is needed to satisfy the design okay so this is the design of the experiment and then we will start actual experiment so here is my assistant actually uh, filling up all the cups and i will not know what uh, she is putting in all the cups and where the NaOH that is our antigen will go so uh, just for a while i am taking this because then i have to go away and she will mess up with all my arrangements and then i'll come back let her do and then i'll start the experiment according to the design okay, so according to the design i will start exchanging the beverages uh, with one first so i will do uh my gosh uh this is one okay six will give full and then one will give back the half of it okay so they are uh, done. Then six will do with two. So this is how you see the full is exchanged and then half is back. Okay. And then six will give to three. So whole of this is given and three will give back the half of the uh, beverage okay so it is done then we will take two so this is two two has already done one time with six over here in the first round now two will do with eight so here two is given to eight the whole of it and then eight is given back the half okay and two is in my hand then uh, two will do with a four so let me find out where is four okay four is waiting to get something so i'm giving to four and then four is giving back half okay done so two is done then i am taking so since we have taken the persons like that, two and six are done three times. Now I'm taking number five. So the number five want to exchange with eight. Maybe eight is her bosom friend. Okay. So five is giving to eight half and eight is given back the half. Okay. Now then five is uh ready to exchange with four so five is giving half to four and then four is giving back half to five then five wants very much to do exchange with seven seven was little a uh, bit kind of uh, so exchange is done and then half is going back okay so five has done three times so who is left to do three times uh i can see from the chart is that three oh so three was talking so much so three forgot that three has to done do three two more times so with one time with eight and eight is giving back half now three goes to four to complete the round okay and the four is giving back half so three is complete now uh, one says that one has done only one time we uh, no one has done two times one time it's six and uh, we can see that one has to do uh, two more times so where is one um i can see one um so one is here so one will do 
with seven then okay so getting half back okay now one has only done two times so here is one time and here is one time so one more time there is nobody left to do so to compromise uh, the experiment and to uh, kind of not compromise to satisfy the design of the experiment i'm taking randomly two to do the exchange with one okay so doing the exchange okay so one is satisfied now from the previous experiments we have seen that seven has done exchange only one time with five so again seven has done exchange another time with one so one more time seven has to do because we want to satisfy that person seven so we have randomly chosen three and three has accepted the offer three says okay i'll do the exchange with number seven and so though it is excess for three but exchange is happening okay So now all the persons in the cafeteria, they have exchanged and now we will see how the disease has been transmitted. So for this test, we have the phenolphthalein left. That is the chemical one compound which can test the presence of sodium hydroxide, which is our antigen in the experiment. So it will change the color if we give uh, two or uh, three drops. So one drop. Oh my gosh. This is number six. One drop is enough. This is, oh my gosh, number seven. Infected. Number two. Oh no. Infected. Eight infected really one oh no five my gosh really three all of them hundred person got infected oh no okay so we'll stop here I have to run back and do all the calculations and to find out really who started the experiment. It is really diff difficult that who is the original one. And we have to track that how the transmission happened. Okay, so I'll come back later with the results. Thank you.